Hello there. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I'm sorry I've been away for a while, but I've had the flu. Had a bit of a runny nose, sneezing, coughing, sore throat, sore stomach. I was even sick a bit and a bit bedridden, laying in bed, no energy. Foggy head, I couldn't think straight. So I had no energy to come onto the camera at all. I was very ill, but I'm feeling really much better now. I've been all right for a few days, but I've just been sort of waiting to get my energy back. My energy's back now. So what have we missed, really? I've been sort of just laying in bed watching movies, dystopian movies, getting more clues. There's a good one um, I watched called Cherry 2000, and it's uh, about a guy whose wife is a, um, a robot. And they're kissing in the kitchen and the sink overflows and obviously that affects the the robot. She gets like a electric shock type of thing in the head and he goes on the search for a new robot and it's quite funny really. And it's based in um, 2017 so it's this year that that, that that film is based in so it's quite interesting how they predicted what today's times would be like and we're getting there like in thailand they're about to build a a robot sex theme park or sex bot theme park so where rich men can go there and have their fun and their way with robots a robot woman a bit like the west world television series that's quite interesting so that was quite an interesting movie and another movie um, frequencies which is all about a bit like the law of attraction like low level frequency it's like a dy dystopia set in an alternate reality where some people are low frequency some people are high frequency the high frequency people have all the luck everything comes to them like nature works for them but they have no feelings they're a bit like robots they have no emotions they can't feel stuff they can't feel stuff like love whereas the low frequency people they can feel they can feel love but they're very unlucky and nature works against them and if you put them both together a low frequency person and a high frequency person it's life-threatening one could die but this young, low-frequency kid falls in love with a with a female, high-frequency. And he sort of spends his life trying to find a way to change himself or the frequency, to balance the frequency so he can spend longer than a minute standing with her. And this makes the government come after him because... They see him as a manipulator of nature and a threat to the system as the way it is. That's quite an interesting film that was, I thought. What else? Fortress. That's another good film. A man and his wife try to escape the border because they're having a child. And it's illegal to have more than one child in this film. A bit like in China. And possibly how we're going to end up as well so this is set in america his wife and himself running across the border trying to escape they get captured and the reason they're having two children is because the first one was stillborn so it died giving birth to it and so she had another one because they all they really wanted a baby and this is not allowed you're allowed one whether it dies or not you're only allowed one so they're both put in jail and it's like a maximum maximum security jail. No one's ever escaped from it. And it's really, really terrible. And it's, there's the drones watching you sleep. And as they watch you sleep, they can watch you dream. And there's this one scene where he's dreaming about making love with his wife and the sort of like the the warden, the prison warden is watching it and zaps him saying it's a, it's a wrong thought form you're not allowed to dream so this place is all about suffering and 
he tries to escape. It's quite an interesting film. A lot of interesting dystopian films out there. I do enjoy them, and they good. They do offer good hints at the future, because we're heading towards a sort of dystopia, technological dystopia with transhumanism, and so on. All right. What else can I talk about? Um, actors. If you ever watched a movie called The Truman Show, it's about a young foster kid who is bought by a TV company and placed in this like little village, this domed village where everyone is actors, his parents, his um, friends, everyone in this whole village is an actor. And he grows up with these actors. And eventually a camera falls from the sky and he realises something's wrong. And he starts seeing these weird little like sort of glitches in the matrix. And starts waking up slowly that he's being watched and so on. And there's this one scene where he's talking to his friend. He's saying like, is it a... He thinks this is a conspiracy. And his friend's saying, oh, if there was a conspiracy, he'd have to be in it as well. And he would never lie to him. Because obviously he's his best friend. And that's the situation we find ourselves in. We're surrounded by actors. Specifically on the TV, in the newspapers, our heroes, the people we look up to and listen to and watch, musicians, YouTube celebrities, they're all paid actors. You'll especially find that with, um, yeah, with the YouTube, you've got certain channels who have thousands of followers and they're supposed to be alternative media, but in reality they're corporate, they're mainstream, and they're ran by the CIA in Hollywood. And they take you for a journey, like Andre the, the Waiter and Monty Python keep saying follow me follow me here follow me come with me come with me I've got something to show you come here come here come 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 then eventually they take you to an empty field there's nothing and then he tells you to fuck off that's what these people are like they take you down fake rabbit holes it's like a rabbit hunter he'll create a fake rabbit hole with a trap inside it that's what they're doing with you you want to go down the rabbit hole and they've created fake rabbit holes for you to go down there and set little traps for you there to kill you to injure you to wound you and these actors are very good they're good actors they keep giving you stuff to research and think and worship and get you all excited about over nothing really. They create news. There's an interesting scene in a TV series called, I think it's called Heroes. Yeah, Heroes. No, Powers, I think it's called. It's a bit like the show The Heroes, it's about superheroes. It's called The Powers. And there's a scene with this um, news reporter and he's talking about how he, how they used to, in the old days, they used to report on news and now they create it. And that's what they do. They create these news. There's this one actress I watch occasionally. She's very popular in the alternative media. And she goes on all these protests. These opposed protests. And she's always managing to capture something. Like the other day she captured um, policemen being set on fire by protesters and it's all fake it's all fake and staged news there was another one um, recently another protest where this man um, this Trump supporter beat up this anti-fascist anti-Trump supporter and the Trump supporter was a male and the anti-Trump supporter was a female 
But if you did a search on these two people, the male bloke, he, um, ex-army, sent to prison for attacking, I think, an Iraqi or something like that, comes out, sets up like a white supremacist sort of group. And the woman, she's a porn star or an ex-porn star actress. So you've got these two very suspicious jobbed people, one punching the other. It's all big up, uproar on the media, on Twitter about it. And this actress also uproar about it. It's all fake news, it's all staged, just like these terrorist attacks, all staged. All to keep you in fear, all to keep you distracted. Same as nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons don't exist. It's all an illusion. It's all to keep you in fear. So they can report on the news, oh, we're in a cold war now. Be in fear. As soon as we put the sirens on, hide under the table. Hide under the table scared, because nuclear weapons could attack any moment and destroy everything at a push of a red button. Yes. The red button's record. You press record for the red button. It's all an illusion. It's all a camera trick. It's all a matrix. Well, in the film, The Matrix, it was an illusion, wasn't it? It was an illusion built by the machine, by the system. Keep you in your daydream. Keep you in your sleep. Doesn't the mother read bedtime stories, fairy tales, to send you to sleep? And that's what they do. Even in this flat earth movement, you got these, again, paid actors coming in, giving you um, fake rabbit holes to go down under, filled with traps to capture you to distract you and they put in these fake stories these fake news these fake truths these fake revelations in order to send you back to sleep they give you more fairy tales to put you back to sleep it's like the Pied Piper singing his tune leading you off a cliff you follow him. You think it's a sweet tune. You think it's a beautiful tune. Just like you follow the celebrity. Just like you follow the, the politician. Just like you follow the news reporter. Just like you follow the musician. It's all an illusion. These are paid actors, paid Hollywood actors. It's like at the moment there's this film making waves at the moment, everywhere. It's called the Red Pill. And it's about the men's rights movement. It's called a feminist journey into the men's rights movement. And it's all about how feminism is wrong and male's rights movement is right, sort of thing. And it's all sort of divisive. And this, this movie's making waves, winning awards, um, it's everywhere. But it's all just a divisive tactic. Yeah, feminism's fake as well. So, but they control both sides. They control the feminism and they control the anti-feminism. They control the feminism and they control the male's rights movement. They control the male's rights movement and they control the anti-male's rights movement. They control it all. They control all sides and then they put their leaders in as they put their agents in as leaders of all the size and then all their agents fight against each other, pretending to fight against each other. A bit like wrestling, where you got like Undertaker fighting Hulk Hogan in the ring and they're the, they're the worst of enemies. They hate each other. They're on the microphone saying, yeah, I hate you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to destroy you. Yeah, you're, I'm your worst enemy. And backstage, they're like sitting there having a beer together. 
joking and laughing. Best of friends. That's how it is. Publicly, they're enemies. Privately, they're very good friends. So you've got to be careful about these little things. Don't be tricked. Don't be fooled. Stay aware. Don't be a follower. If you're always looking for a leader, they will always give you a leader to follow. Look at Barack Obama. You all saw him as your leader. You all followed him. And where did that lead you? Nowhere. He said he has come to bring hope. He's come to bring change. Change you can believe in. Don't believe. No difference between him and George Bush. The only change was the skin colour. Not the ideology. Not the politics. Not even the, the blood. The same bloodline. Don't be fooled. Don't look for change outside of yourself. Change yourself and you change the world. Barack Obama is not going to change the world. He's going to keep the system running as it is. Because he benefits from it. He benefits from how it is. To you, you don't. You have to be careful. When you start speaking the truth, they try to shut you down. They try to... Um, they gave me two strikes on my YouTube channel. One more and I would have been out. So I had to quickly um, sort that out before I got my YouTube channel lost. It took me off... Um, locked me out of my own Skype account. I can't even use it anymore. I have to use another one. They accuse me of being a Jewish agent when I'm not even Jewish and I've never even met a Jew in my life being from a little village. And the funny thing is the person who accused me of being a Jewish agent comes from a historical Jewish house and spends most of his time in a Thai military base and comes from Washington, headquarters of NASA and CIA and FBI and Pentagon. And was paid $100,000 in a phony vaccine court settlement by the American government shortly after connecting with me. And worships Hitler and the Nazis. And the Nazis, of course, started the CIA. And NASA. So who do you trust? You trusted that guy because you were all attacking me. Accusing me of being the agent. Accusing me of being the Jewish. Or the Jew, should I say. Accusing me of being fake. No. You didn't stay aware, did you? You didn't think... You didn't use your brain, you didn't use your heart, you didn't use your senses. You don't have the right judgment, the right discernment to see what is real and what is unreal. You see, with me, I came to the flat earth by myself, nobody told me about it. Look behind me. 
lots of books I read, I studied, like the Count of Monte Cristo, Edmund Dantes, reading, studying everything I could. Then I came out and tried to share that knowledge with you. I was making waves. And then they sent in their CIA agents to take my place. And yet you all ran off to the guys with all the money, these agents. They were shinier. They were wearing clothes of glitter. And you ran off to them. Because you don't think for yourself. You like to be told what to think. So now you attack me. And you worship the CIA agent. So it's funny, really. It's strange. It's strange to me. But it's funny. And at the start, it did bother me. But now it doesn't. Because what can I do? I can't control people. And perhaps not meant to. Perhaps certain people are just meant to be misled. Certain sheep are just meant to be slaughtered. Who knows? You can't save everyone. You can't help everyone to think for themselves. It's all a crazy dream. Be in peace. There's nothing to fear. Love is free, and so love shall set you free. God bless.